never done anything other than drawing comics. I don't remember. I used to copy Dick Tracy from the newspaper. And then when I was oh, seven or eight years old, I started doing comic strips of my own. But I, I don't have any copies of Shorty the Turtle and Doggy the Dog. And then in prep school, I, uh, military school, I did the adventures of Cadet something. I don't remember. I don't have any copies of that either. Because at the University of Texas, I was the editor of the Student Humor magazine. And I started, I, I did gag cartoons, and then I did the adventures of Wonder Warthog, Super Paco Share at the University of Texas. And I've never had a real job. In the 50s, there was a crusade against comics. Uh, there was a book by Dr. Frederick Wortham called Seduction of the Innocent. And it was his theory that comic books caused crime. And as a result, uh, a, a, a lot of comic book publishers went out of business. The, the famous EC Comics stopped publishing their science fiction and their horror titles, and they kept only mad comics. But uh, EC was the best comics ever published, and they were put out of business by the Comics Code, which was mainly sponsored by Archie comics and they, they had I don't know seven seven rules that the good guy always has to win and you can't show any blood and, and things like that and then Robert Crumb broke all the rules when he started doing zap comics in California for example there's no law against obscenity, like in England, but there's a law against pornography. The law says to be pornographic, something has to be sexually stimulating. So when Robert Crumb's Snatch Comics was busted and went to court, and there was a jury trial in Berkeley, California, None of the members of the, of the jury would admit being sexually stimulated by Snatch Comics. Uh, and so, uh, so Robert Crumb and the bookseller went free. That started as a comic strip in a weekly newspaper in Austin, Texas. The, the rag was a left-wing weekly newspaper and I, I was in agreement with uh, with their policies but the newspaper was dull it <laughs> didn't have any pictures so I said what you need is a comic strip so I started the Freak Brothers for the Austin Rag the weekly tabloid newspaper in Austin the first Freak Brothers adventure was a uh, publicity for a five-minute movie that I made called the, the Texas Hippies March on the Capitol. And I, I did the Freak Brothers as publicity for this film. Everyone liked the comic strip better than the film, so I uh, gave, up, gave up my career as a director. <laughs> well, when I moved here, 30 years ago, the, the Freak Brothers books published by Artifact were uh, very successful. So my wife and I decided to come spend a year in France and uh, do some touristing, and we ended up staying. We've been here for 32 years now. <laughs> the French sense of humor is somewhat different than the American and the English. Uh, my favorite French cartoonist was Jean-Marc Rézère. <laughs> I thought he was very funny. And I know all the, the cartoonists of my own age, some of, some of whom are 
funnier than others. Philippe Villeman can be very funny. I think I've said everything I can think of to say about cannabis. <laughs> My latest book is about a, a rock band, not quite dead. And so I, uh, I thought that might be a, uh, have a lot of humor in it. At one time, I thought I might be a rock musician myself. I was at the university with Janis Joplin. And at that time, everyone was singing folk songs and country and gospel singing. And Janice was the star of the folk singers. And I asked her one day, I, I'd like to play rhythm and blues and rock piano. Let, let's, how about trying some of that? And she said, we folk artists don't do rock. She changed her mind later, but it was too late for me. Once I led the life of a millionaire, spending all my money like I didn't care, showing all my friends a mighty good time, buying expensive whiskey, champagne and wine. And then I began to sink so low, didn't have no friends, no place to go. It's mighty strange without a doubt Nobody knows you when you're down and out. <laughs> Thank you very much.